right, guys, welcome back to the show. Uh, I got suspended again. <laughs> uh, YouTube apparently doesn't really like me, but hey, it is what it is. So, um, please go to Rumble and uh, subscribe to the channel over at Rumble, still under uh, Immigrant Corner. Also, go onto realimmigrantcorner.com and sign up to the email sh email list. So that way, if anything changes, I could let you guys know. Um, if this account gets deleted or whatever, that's one way of me letting you guys know that the account has been deleted. So let's get into this. Um, the recent killing of uh, Tyree Nichols by the Memphis police. Um, again, it's another tragedy. Uh, I don't agree with it. Um, uh, I saw both videos of him running away and also again then uh, getting arrested again and getting beaten up. Um, so that was definitely 100% police for uh, excessive force used in that arrest. Um, which goes to say, don't resist arrest. Once you resist arrest, the cops uh, they will escalate the situation no matter what. No matter what, the situation will get escalated because you are resisting arrest. Um, if uh, if you think you you haven't done anything wrong, just be calm, be relaxed, have a conversation, just comply. You know, because now you're making the situation even more hostile. Because to them, resisting arrest means okay. We're gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna do whatever we can to put this guy in handcuffs under any circumstances. Doesn't matter what it is. So, but I'm not gonna uh, argue techniques and arrest techniques and all this stuff because obviously I'm not. I haven't been in that situation, so I don't know. But what I'm gonna talk about is the fact that they're talking about racism. Memphis, Tennessee, it's all Democrats, realistically. Um, and it does have a large black population. The cops were black. The arresting cops were black. Uh, the cops who were beating him were black. And he's black. But we have our friendly CNN talking about racism. So let, let's hear this for a second piece on CNN.com, Van, um, you wrote, the police who killed Tyree Nichols were black, but they might still have been driven by racism. And I was struck by the part of the piece where you wrote this. One of the sad facts about anti-black racism is that black people ourselves are not immune to its pernicious effects. Society's message that black people are inferior, unworthy, and dangerous is pervasive. Over many decades, numerous experiments have shown that these ideas can infiltrate black minds as well as white. Self-hatred is a real thing. Um, so, you... So, um, I have to agree. I mean, he's he's kind of right, but it's a society, right? It's the... Uh, it's the environment that they live in. It's the, I mean, you grew up in an environment, you're going to adapt to that environment. That's just the reality of it. Um, this is why you see people who live in like high-end areas. Um, crime is very low. Uh, it's very clean. Uh, everybody, you know, respects one another most of the time. And, you know, they're, they're very friendly. Then you go to... Uh, I want to say like poor neighborhood or somewhere that's you know uh, economically has not thrived or whatever for whatever reason, and people adapt to that environment: high crime, drugs, um, lots of uh, lo lots of crime. You know, places like Chicago. Uh, Chicago has a high crime rate. L.A. has a high crime rate, right? And I give you an example of L.A. L.A. has a dense population, right? L.A. County is a huge county. It does have its good and bad neighborhoods. And uh, Beverly Hills is right smack in the middle of L.A. County, surrounded by areas of high crime. But why 
Beverly Hills doesn't have much crime. Well, they have their own police. People who live there are not the ones committing the crime. And uh, if you drive through it, even at nighttime, you barely will hear somebody honking their horn or stuff like that. Uh, but it's what environment they're in, it's what the outcome is going to be. This is why you have a very small turnaround of people trying to get out of that environment. So I lived in L.A. County, so I've seen it. Fully, this racial bias played a role in the officers' behaviors. Yeah, I, I do because, um, first of all, uh, uh, black people are at risk from police no matter what color. Uh, black, white, brown, you talk. Oh, okay. So not everybody. Because when George Floyd died, it was only black people. Now all races are endangered by the uh, endangered from the police. It's a, it's interesting, right? So now they're playing, they're flipping the game, they're flipping the 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 the, the script. Now everybody's in danger of the police, right? Everybody, you know. He doesn't talk about the fact that if you're in a high crime rate, the police is always you know high tension you know the something might happen or you know so they have to be aware so they're not they can't take chances of being nice anymore because they deal with so many thugs they deal with deal they deal with so many criminals so they can't take the chance of being a nice guy to a person who they pull over they never talk about that they never talk about that do you think people don't get pulled over in beverly hills do you think people don't get pulled over in uh, I don't know, Washington, D.C.? You don't think people get pulled over in Virginia? Do you think everybody that gets pulled over is being mm -hmm. kicked or is being tossed to the ground? No. That's not how it works. But if you're in a high, you know, high crime area, of course the cops are going to be on high alert. Of course the cop is going to be, you know, on the edge. They deal with that crap every day, all day, every day. Right. So let's let's hear it again. Let, let's hear some more. Talk to African-Americans. I'll tell you, um, it, it doesn't matter. There's this per pervasive view from law enforcement that if you're black, you're dangerous. And I think some people think, oh, well, so a white police officer going after a black person, you understand the racial implications. The problem is uh, there are whole neighborhoods that in many cities are just considered by police departments kind of war zones and anything goes there. And so um, I, I think we have to have a more nuanced view of what's going on to root out a racism. It's not just about having black cops or white cops or brown cops. It's about having cops that are trained to respect everyone and who are disciplined and punished when they don't. And when you don't have that in place, uh, black people are at risk no matter the color of the police officer. So he just repeated exactly what I said, right? About the neighborhoods. Um, the this, I don't know, man. This, they, they, they keep playing the race card here. Has nothing to do with race at, anymore. Because now it shows even the black cops have had enough of criminals. You know, um, now Tyree Nichols might have not been a criminal. He might not have been charged or done anything wrong. I don't know. Nobody knows. But he might have been at a very high risk area or danger zone. If you've been to war zone, everybody's on high alert. No matter where you are, even if you are in the green zone, you're in high alert. Uh, these criminal invest infested cities are the same way. Okay, When you have a large number of black on black crime, and the cops are, the cops either going to do something or they're not going to do anything, right? You see that in New York now. New York was like, ah, crime committed, I ain't touching it. Chicago, crime committed, I ain't touching it. Let it happen. That's what the people want. Our hands are tied, you know. Uh, in this case, Memphis, um, they did, to me, from what I see, they did use excessive force. And they're going to get what they got, you know, what they got coming for them, for these cops. I don't know if they were having a bad day. I don't know what the situation was, but, you know, uh, 
for the continue continuously hitting that kid was was wrong. So I don't I don't agree with what they did. And if that's gonna give them the the uh, murder sentence, whatever it's that's what it is. So uh, I don't know, guys. Leave your comments down below. Again, don't forget to go to Rumble. I will leave a link down below in the description. Click on the description link and subscribe to the channel on rumble side also go to my website sign up to the email list i will not spam you i will not send you any emails unless uh i need to get a hold of you telling you hey my channel got canceled or whatnot and yeah i guess um i'm gonna uh be following doing the same thing about uh what um uh crowder is doing basically so no spams i promise uh yeah leave your comments down below peace out